How'd it go? We think the patient had anaphylaxis. We had to give Epi. Wow. From the blood? No. We think he was stung by a bee and that's why he fell. Remember the hand? Yeah. Teresa called it when she saw the tongue. Totally good catch. Hey, uh, why don't we have a quick debrief about the case? Can everybody take a minute before we go back to the unit? Sure. All right, I will set the timer for five minutes. It would be great to have anesthesia and surgery here too for this. Sure, but let's review together now. Uh, we can schedule a larger debrief at the interdisciplinary discussion later this month. This is a good case to review with a larger team. All right, if it's good with everybody as the documenter, I'll facilitate. And I'll just start by saying, if anybody needs to cool off or take a minute outside, you can do so at this time. That's great. And remember, we have formal resources for any staff in need of more support after challenging clinical events. All right. As Dr. Boyd mentioned, we'll be formally discussing the details of the case later in the month. So let's just use this time now to compare our mental model. Review what we did well as a team. And if the same patient comes in again in five minutes, is there anything we might do differently? Can we start with initial reactions or any feelings we want to get off our chests? I'm frustrated we didn't treat for anaphylaxis sooner. I knew that the patient's hand had something to do with this. Well, we followed our algorithms and got the patient to OR where he belonged, so I think we did a good job. Diane, tell us more about how you felt. What do you think contributed to your not feeling hurt about the patient's hand? I mean, I guess I didn't know it was anaphylaxis or anything, but I kept saying, look at the hand, and I felt ignored. I wish I had pushed it a little bit more. Maybe if I had said it differently somehow? Actually, I could tell that you were concerned, Diane, and there's nothing you could have said that would have pulled my attention. I was just fixed on hypertension being secondary to blood loss. I honestly didn't consider anaphylaxis. Well, it's a good thing we cleaned out the trauma slot this morning. Otherwise, it would have really been a mess. Uh, what else did we do well as a team? I felt really supported by Dr. Boyd. I wasn't entirely confident with that airway. I'm glad we were able to get anesthesia there to help, and you made me feel comfortable saying that. And I think we did what was best for the patient. Well, I really appreciated you being honest about your comfort level. And you went with the plan to give Epi upstairs. As leader, you really listened to the team. What do we think we could have done better? Was there any systems issues that maybe we don't want to forget to pass on from today? Well, it would have been nice if the trauma room was restocked last night, or at least if we had been given a heads up about it. Yeah, good point. I will pass that on to nurse management. Also, I'm glad that trauma came to do the fast because we really needed another doctor in the room. Um, I'm stressed that the rest of the ED got shut down because we were working on this. All right, uh, let's see. We've got a few minutes left before we all get back to work. Dr. Boyd, as a team leader, was there anything you thought could have run more smoothly? Not really. I really appreciated everyone's contribution to the plan. There were some hairy moments, <laughs> some things that didn't fit. I'm still reeling that I missed anaphylaxis. But your orders were very clear. We always knew exactly what you were talking about. And we got the patient upstairs really quickly. Oh, all right, that's it. Hey, everybody, before we uh, get back to the unit, let's just take a minute. Let's recognize how amazing our work is. Because we worked as a team together, we got to save a life today. <laughs> right? Back to work.